Hello everyone, I'm Brian Troy Dragon, and welcome to Box Adventures, or welcome back, I should say. Today will be the first time I've ever played Dungeons and Dragons. How will I do? I don't know. Gonna be playing Princes of the Apocalypse from some friends like uh, Jeff, Demona, Sharn. I originally envisioned my character, uh, Neil MacCon, as a, like a gay, like Alexander the Great. He's a barbarian, but I envisioned him, I didn't select him a race for him, I just thought he'd be human, but he ended, he's in, ended up being a Goliath. Alex, I love you too. When was I introduced to Dungeons and Dragons? Sometime back in elementary school. I was probably six. Me and my mum were at the Wild Ontario Museum. And there was just a room that had been rented for a Dungeons and Dragons tournament. Or something like that. There probably isn't tournaments, just something that has been rented for a Dungeons and Dragons club. Yeah, at the Royal Ontario Museum, imagine that. And then there was that TV show from the 80s that was being uh, shown on Fox Kids. In the 90s, late 90s, early 2000s. I've uh, watched a bit of some of Dungeons and Dragons spiritual adaptations like Conan the Destroyer, uh, Slayers. I played uh, King of the Dragons, a video game that's con considered to be a Dungeons and Dragons video game and all that name. I have it on my Super Nintendo Classic. I haven't beaten it yet, but it's a good game. I've actually got a Dungeons and Dragons book. If you want to see it, I'll go get it. Hey.
and on my shoulder. Well, at least I think it's a Dungeons and Dragons book. A Practical Guide to Dragons. And my friend Jonathan had A Practical Guide to Monsters. What, Alex? Hi. What's up? Yes, Alex, you're very pretty. Yes, Alex, you're just too cute for words. I've uh, watched Dungeons and Dragons streams, uh, the streams of Internet Remix, Lost Initiative, and Round Final Boss Fight, who I'll be joining uh, later today. Jeff being one of the final boss fight members. Neon McCon. It's obvious that from that name I didn't really have a race picked out and I just intended him to be human. I actually wrote some stories, a uh, 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 backstory for the character. And of course, Khan did. I actually incorporated the I saw it sewn shut of Philip II of Macedon, so there's that. And if you don't know uh, what I'm talking about, you see Philip II of Macedon got an eye injured uh, from an arrow during a siege a year after Alexander's birth. Uh, he was uh, he wasn't the one the siege, he was the one leading the siege. Uh, the eye was surgically removed after, and then his socket was just sewn shut. The eye socket was just sewn shut. That is basically it. Uh, the explanation for that. What? What's up, Alex? And I do follow the Dungeons and Dragons uh, Twitch channel. You know what, I think I might uh, try to go back and watch I think I watched only, what, two episodes, maybe three, uh, during my high school years.
Uh, I have been trying to make it my own Dungeons and Dragons campaign, uh, quote unquote Dungeons and Dragons campaign. It's set in the real world, uh, with, uh, around the Mothman sightings of the 60s. There's a ton of, uh, cryptids I could have gone with, but, uh, Well, let's just say Mothman won the raffle. And let's just say I have a specific end point for that campaign. Anyone familiar with the Mothman should know uh, of a certain event with the original sightings. In the 60s, uh, connected to the original sightings in the 60s. Do I intend to kill off the cat at the end? I'm at, I can neither confirm nor deny that. Listening to m might be easier equipped, it's low. Well, there's probably easier things, period, than the Mothman. Alex? Hey. Basically, the lots were, the cryptids I had selected were, there was, I think, 10 of them, maybe, there might have been 30. Uh, there's only so many flying ones, so many water ones. I try to make it pretty equal, so they're not all... Connected to a uh, one um, plane, we'll call it. Oh, that's a good 
this golf and I remember at one of Molly's streams uh, there was a drunk Dead by Daylight stream and someone was just singing West Virginia West Virginia Oh man that was hilarious <laughs> I'm not sure which is uh, more frightening. The Mothman, who we really don't know if he's benevolent or malevolent, or the Owl Man, which is obviously malevolent. Seeing as the view involved in going after the children, so to speak, uh, on the debut part. That's all for today, everyone. I'm Brian Croydragon signing out. Stay straight.